disappear. Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back once again, or for the very first time, to the Farts and Crap Show, where today, as per usual, it's your host, Anjo, here with uh, part 82 of Horizon Forbidden West Complete Edition PS5 version. Uh, yeah, recorded in 4K 60 HDR. So, if you guys want the optimal viewing experience, definitely check those YouTube quality playback settings. But for today, we're going to be finishing up the prom... Promontory? Prom... Promontory. They, they spell it a weird way, they pronounced it a weird way. Whatever. A side quest for Plain Song, and then probably also doing another... Plain song side quest. I, I didn't really do much in Plain Song when I first came here, so there's uh, basically those three things. That's what we're going to be doing next couple episodes. Are you there? I'm in plain song and it's amazing. It's just like you said, the fields are back in bloom. And we have you to thank for it. If you hadn't come along, <laughs> Ihutaru would still be starving, under siege by machines. I'm just glad it worked out. Yes. First plain song. Next, the world. Aloy, wasn't sure you'd ever come around. What do you think of Plain Song? It's quite a place. <laughs> sure. As long as you like the smell of manure. Ah, uh, don't mind me. I won't go wandering again, I promise. There are people who need me here. Some of the others the Eclipse took had it worse than me. A lot worse. Do what you can for them, Yef. I will. Won't be anything like you did, but I'll give it my best. May the land bloom in your steps. None of us do. All we know is that Zoe was trying to soothe her. Then the Outlander, she did. I asked Ghana if she could keep an eye open on her travels. But... We all lament Calais' death, but perhaps it's choice. time to move on. No, not until I hear from Aloy. That's Calais. You found it. Bree, Kalai didn't fall. She was murdered. What? I went up to the promontory. I found Kalai and the body of the woman who killed her. That's impossible. The search party already checked up there. There was nothing. The bodies were in a separate clearing. Away from where the search party checked. A stalker had mauled her. While she was trying to hide Kalai's body. Who was she? I was hoping you would know. I brought back her seed pouch. It belongs to Lina. Kel's apprentice. I don't understand. Why would she do this? Maybe we should ask Kel. But she... You, there. Where is Kel? I saw her leave out the East Gate about an hour ago. She's going home. Summerwind. She's running away? She needs to stand trial. I can catch her. Where is this place? Look for a ruined settlement at our southern border. It's her childhood home. We will get the guards and try to catch up with you. Set out to find <coughs> what happened. Harash, 
fresh of air. Sunshine upon you. Hope you're doing well. That must be summer wind. But where is Kel? So now everyone knows. It was only a matter of time once you went up that cliff. You stood right next to the man whose wife you had murdered and told him to move on. I never wanted any of this to happen. Then why? Calais sowed the seeds of discord. She wanted the Utaru to leave Plainsong, abandon our home. If that thought caught on, it would have been more destructive than any sickness or machine. So you had her killed? There is a natural order to all things. Growth. Decay. Death. It's the way of the world. A tree cannot pick up its roots, so I stopped what was threatening us. I'm sorry it came to it, but it's over now. I'm gonna make sure you pay for all the suffering you've caused. Too late. You think you stopped Kalai's beliefs from spreading? But when people hear what you did, They'll cast aside the old ways even more. No. And you won't be around to do anything about it. No! She needed to stand trial! Kalai deserves justice. Kel thought that silencing Kalai would silence her beliefs. Prove her wrong. That will give Kalai justice. It isn't much, but... I want you to have this, as thanks. I won't have to spend the rest of my days wondering what happened to Kalai. Blighted are the leaves. Three of our people, dead. And for what? I admit it. I never wanted you among us. But now, it seems I must thank you for Revealing the rot that had taken hold here. I'm sorry it had to happen this way. At least with the rot removed, new growth can thrive. I'll make sure Kel's body is properly seen to. Kel's treachery will be a shock to many. In plain song. I'll plant Kalai's seed pouch in plain song. You made that possible. 
You've done enough for us, Outlander. Go while the roots are strong. I'll make sure Kel's body is properly seen to. Okay, but what the hell? Why is there a thing above their head? Kel would have gotten away with murder. If not for you, Aloy. Both of you guys, why? Also, what killed Kel? I don't get that, like... It's just like, oh, I'm dying. Maybe it's a glitch. Maybe it's not supposed to show up yet. I'll always be grateful you exposed Kel's treachery. Okay. Cool. Have fun with that. Um... I mean, quick story? Like true story um this uh this game used to be glitchy as fuck it's like when it first came out um it had all kinds of problems and they patched it like tons of times but um yeah i mean that was kind of what ended up happening is they just kind of fixed things, patched things on like a, a need to patch basis, basically. So it's, it's not too surprising that if you're like really thorough, you can still find some like glitchy stuff in this game. Um, but yeah. It's kind of part of the problem with, like, so many things being scripted in a giant game like this. Um, because there's, like, a specific way they're supposed to happen or whatever. Like, in the last episode when I was like, oh, it's probably promontory, promontory or whatever. I was like, even just looking at the map and where I was, I was like, it's up here. Duh. <laughs> and so, that's where I went first and then I was like, well... It's not triggering. So I guess I'll just do it how the game wants me to do it. And, uh, yeah. But, ordinarily, you know, you do this way before you have the ability to fly. Which I feel like kind of breaks some of the progression, and it can, sort of, but if you don't trigger things correctly, then... Not really. So, I don't know. It's... I'm not going to fault the game for it because it's a, it's a cool ability. And, like, the easy answer would be, like, well, then don't give Aloy the ability to fly. Like, yeah, but late game rewards are kind of sick. Even if they are game break you a little bit. And if you ever beat the game, who cares if you break it, you know? <laughs> like yeah throw the balance all out of whack who gives a shit and like yeah there's new game plus but that's easy just make it so you can't carry over the flying ability which is how they did it so there's a lot more this game does right than it does wrong so a few glitches here and there i don't really care
show you something. Oh, the Aloy. Welcome to the garden. How are you doing, Bree? Is this where you planted your wife's seeds? It is. They're a part of Plainsong now. Where they can take root and flower. I miss her. But I'll keep pushing for change, just like she would have. I still can't believe something so... She didn't deserve any of this. But at least I have this to remember her by. I'm sorry for your loss. Even if one day we leave Plain Song, I'll know the seeds she carried will have been part of our people's cycle. And it's all thanks to you, Aloy. May you always walk in a field of plenty. She's the companion of Reef Singer Zoe. What's going on here? Sounds like there's a problem. We're speaking about something important, Outlander. You'll, please. Later. A reminder of why I often prefer plants to people. They're so much less demanding. I apologize for Yul. She used to be friendlier, but grief robs many of their kindness. Grief? You and Zoe brought the land gods back to us, but troubles from our time of want remain. As our crops failed, we sent hunting parties to the old growth, a forest to the north to bring back meat. A machine slaughtered the last party we sent out. A cloth rider. But to hear the lone survivor tell it more deadly than any we've seen before. I saw you up there when I spoke in front of the chorus. Yes. I'm sorry I couldn't do more to help you, and especially Zoe. Many Utaru like to think we're above politics, but that is far from true. I don't often agree with Fane, but I have to work closely with him on many matters. So you didn't want to cross him? Not in such a public way, no. After you exposed his ally Kel, however, I think he will find the power of his voice will be lessened. And maybe yours will be louder? <laughs> we shall see. Tell me everything you know about the machine that attacked your hunters. It fell upon them near the edge of the old growth. One of them, Ven, survived and made it back to Plainsong. If you wish to question him, he's recovering with our healers. The other four hunters weren't so fortunate. It must be a powerful beast. Can you destroy it? I've handled tough ones before. Good. If it ventures beyond the forest, no one will be safe. One more thing. Every Utaru wears a small patch of seeds, given at birth planted at death. It is how we remember our loved ones and celebrate their place in the cycle. It would mean a great deal to the hunter's families if you could recover them. I'll do what I can. I know you will. Be careful in the forest. Before I head for the old growth, I might want to talk to the survivor. See... Can tell me about the Clostrider. May the wind carry Walk you. in field. <laughs> yes? <laughs> There's the survivor from the hunting party. <laughs> then? I'm here about the machine in the old growth. You're going after that horror. I'm going to try. Do you mind answering a couple of questions about it? I'll... I'll tell you what I can. Tell me what happened, step by step. There were five of us, hunting for boar to help feed the tribe, just like we had done half a dozen times before. Some machines got in our way. Happens every time we go to the old growth. Like always, we cleared them out. But this time, when we were done, 
We heard this roar. Hey, easy. I saw a flash from the trees. All claws and tail. It ripped right through Cole and Re and Zan. Came right at me. Slashed my shoulder. There was blood. Then an arrow slammed into its neck. My friend Lau, he distracted it. Yelled and whooped it. It turned on him. He disappeared into the trees. And it followed him. Last thing I heard him yell was for me to run. So I did. I was halfway back to playing song before I realized what I had done. Left loud to die. Is there anything you can tell me about the machine that might help? It looked like a claw strider, but it was stronger. Much stronger. Anything else? Its armor was darker and it had a strange purple glow. Thanks. I think I know what I'm dealing with. I need to get going. You don't want to fight that thing. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. Well, if you do, I hope you cut it to shreds. It killed Lao, my oldest friend. Yeah, no offense, dude, but it's a claw strider. Even the strongest claw strider is still kind of nothing for Aloy. So must be off somewhere else. They have frisbees. Looks like she left a note behind. Huh? They play frisbee. That's kind of cool. I didn't know that. Um, I was kind of hoping they had, um, I just remembered, I wanted to see what other, like, color schemes are available for this. Oh, it's right here. Um, because I like this armor, but I'm not a big fan of the color scheme. It's not... Oh. Oh, like, which one do I want to die? You're blazing? Why... Why does the lighting suck? Dude, I can, like, barely see it. Maybe Verdant Jewel? This new color suits you, Huntress. Well, thanks. I can't really see it, but I'll, I believe you. like the lighting wasn't so shitty pretty good I don't know why an outlander like her would help us the way she did but I don't care we persevere hey I 
think I like the green better. I can die armor. Yeah, I know. So it don't feel truly yours, Huntress. Looking forward to our shift. I don't know. Kind of starting to like the original better. Will you? Try this one. Has to be some of my best work yet. No. I believe I've outdone myself this time. Returning it to normal. <laughs> I did pretty great. Hmm. I mean, it's it's fine. Why does the lighting, like, always suck? I mean, I think it's just because it's nighttime, but... that either. I kind of liked this one, but it didn't have a good color scheme. This thing's kind of cool. There we go. I think I still like this one but the best like I mean the Nora Valiant is pretty classic
Yeah, I like the pants for the Nora Sentinel, but the top part's just kind of not that great looking. Nora Legacy is the closest to like the Horizon Zero Dawn outfit. And yeah, the Carja Blazon is pretty nice. Here, let me try this out. There we go, some neutral lighting. Switching back to this. This must be the old growth. Shell said the hunting party was attacked near here. Best place to start looking for the hunter's seed pouches. the hunter's seat pouch.
pouch. But where are the other hunters? And the claw strider that attacks them. I better check for tracks with my focus. There. Claw strider tracks. I might have chased the other hunters deeper into the forest. Okay, got the sea pouch. Better pick up the close rider's tracks and keep going. The third hunter. I should collect their sea pouch. He died where the close rider caught him. At least I can return a seat pouch. I need to put a stop to that machine. I better scan for tracks. Okay, three hunters. There should be one more. Claw Strider probably chased after him. Kind of residue here. It's sticky, like tree sap. It might have been from a weapon. The survivor said his friend Lao distracted the machine so he could escape. Maybe this is where it happened. Looks like the claw strider continued up the cliff. Lao gave it quite the chase. Cliff's covered in gouge marks. Machine must have clawed its way up. Looks like the machine's claw got stuck here. Slowed it down. While the hunter kept running. <laughs> Close tires tracks end here. And no sign of the last hunter either. I bet I know why these machines are watching that crack in the cliff. Better clear them out first. Check it out. Got a feeling Lao was pretty resourceful.
from my stash when I need it. They're gone? I wasn't expecting a rescue. Thank you, Outlander. I'm after the Clawstrider. Where did it go? You're hunting it? It's okay. I fought bigger. Who are you? Just stay here while I try to pick up its trail. I'll let you know when it's... I can handle it from here. slow it down for you. Stay back, and don't fire until I do. Watch for its claws. I think that hurt it! No! I've got your back! It's done. We did it! <laughs> it's Lau, right? Ben thinks he left you for dead. He made it back. I was worried about him. He said you saved him by getting the Clawstrider to chase you. <laughs> and he saved me by sending you after me, so we're even. I can't wait to see the look on his face when he figures out I'm alive. Go on back then. And thanks for the assist. Slowing that machine down helped. And here, take this. I can craft another one if I need it, but... Well, I hope I won't after this, not for a while. One more hunter gets to go home. Now I just have to return the seed pouches to Shale. I mean, he's got a ways to walk, Aloy. You could have politely refused. Like, no, you keep it. I don't need it. <laughs> like, what, he's just gonna take a stroll back without a weapon now? I mean, he is, like, supposed to be one of the Utaru's, like, hunters, so... Hopefully he has other, like, weapons, but... Let's get return to shell, okay, so we're going back. Um... Alright, so we'll wrap up this quest, and that's gonna do it for this episode, so... I'll go see what this is.
Those wings holding up. May the land bloom in your steps. Outlanders are not allowed in the drum room. We won't do it. Sounds like someone's in trouble. There's Shale. Over here. I should give her the seed pouches. I... Aloy, Lau has come back to us thanks to you. Here, the seed pouches. I'll see that these are returned to their families for planting and remembrance. I'm sure Lau and Van would like to thank you in person. You can find them at the Grove. It's been an honor, Aloy. May the land be kind to you. Folks, well, that is going to do it for today. We're pretty much out of time. And, uh, so yeah. On the next episode, gonna do this last. I thought there were two more. I guess there's one more. Um, but yeah, we'll do this last. Final, I should say, uh, side quest here in Plainsong. At least it looks like it might be the final one. Wait, you guys have an elevator? No, this is an elevator. What the fuck? S storage elevator? Seems like it. Um, but yeah, that'll be the next one. And then it looks like just getting close to River Him, like, started the quest for there. So, um, probably that afterwards, but that will be the next episode. So, um, yeah. Thanks for being here, guys, once again. Greatly appreciate it. Of course, before we get going, a very special thank you going out to the current Farouts and Crap Show members, which at the time of recording is Novellus Draconis and Don Sabino. Thank you so much for choosing to support the show a bit more directly. Greatly helps out. Greatly appreciate it. And if you guys want to get in on all those membership benefits like those amazing people and, uh, yeah. Check out the join button. Tiers start at three bucks a month. That's only ten cents a day. Gets you into all the basic stuff, including getting to vote on the series that get made here on the channel via the members' choice polls. 
Um, we did just have one wrap up on March 27th, and we will have one starting pretty early April to decide the series that will be following uh, Maria 3. So if you guys want to get in on that, that's how you do so. And if you want to stay up to date on all the announcements here on the channel, um, yeah, definitely keep an eye on the community tab, or you can follow us on Twitter, or you can join the Discord. I always post the announcements on all three, so, um, yeah. Links are down there in the description, also in the channel banner. That's what I was going to say. Anyway, it's going to do it for today, guys. Until next time, take care, and I hope you all have a glorious day.